I'm Scythor. And I'm August. And this is our son, Daniel Valer. So we met about seven years ago. I was living in Los Angeles, and August was living here in Reykjavik. Uh, I had planned a visit, and we, we met when I came and hit it off really well, and I decided to move here full time. We got married in 2009. Um, we had some foster kids, and when none of those placements worked out, we decided to pursue um, a surrogacy. And we actually met a really good friend who decided to carry him for us. So it was kind of an unconventional surrogacy in that you know it was there were no doctors involved other than the midwife for the birth, and it was all just kind of. Worked out really great in the same way of, of us uh, meeting. We've got something to say. So it wasn't really ever a possibility to move to the US because the US immigration law is much more strict than Icelandic immigration law. So it's much easier for Scythor to move here than for me to move to the US. Yeah, so my visa at the beginning was a high tech visa. I was working at a video game studio here. That's my career. And uh, then we got married after two years, and since then my visa has been through our marriage. But now actually I have Icelandic citizenship, um, so yeah, everything's taken care of for living here. And now with the recent Supreme Court ruling, we could live in the U.S. if we wanted to. <laughs> in Iceland, surrogacy is actually illegal, and the reason why uh, is because uh, Iceland does have very strong gay rights. We've had civil unions since '96, same-sex marriage since 2006. We had the, but we also have really strong women's rights. We had uh, the right to vote before the U.S. for women, the first female president in the world in 1980, um, the first lesbian, openly gay uh, head of state was in Iceland. Um, so they want to make sure that they balance the rights of women not to be exploited with the rights of infertile couples to pursue surrogacy. So there is a bill being worked on uh, to make altruistic surrogacy similar to Canada and Australia legal. <laughs> You've got a lot to say about this. Uh, but it's, it's currently not. So the, what we actually did is we pursued it the way essentially co-parenting. Uh, we did everything at home, um, unofficially, without any kind of doctor involvement, that kind of thing. Um, and so at birth, both his birth mother and August, who's the biological father, had full custody. And then uh, she was able to terminate her custody rights. Uh, so that required a lot of um, trust, which we needed to know her well, which we wanted to do anyway. If we were asking for such a, you know, intense thing for her to do uh, for us, and um, she stayed here for over a month with her four children before the birth, and um, we become really close with her before and after, um, which you know we really like. It's, it feels like you know we just have another member of the family that we get to talk to and keep up with stuff and talk about parenting. You are so talking, yeah. So because of the problems with becoming gay parents in Iceland, there really isn't a vibrant gay dad community. Despite all the gay fathers kind of knowing of each other, um, there there's not enough for us to have enough in common that, that we met and bonded and, and know each other regularly. So we know of um, two couples that have permanent uh, foster placements, um, and then also one gay couple who successfully adopted, and, um, and then of course there are several older men who have kids from previous relationships with women, um, but as far as we know, we're the first and only gay couple that has a child from birth that we've had full custody of. Like hearing that, I like telling you. I like telling you. Can I, can I give you tummy kisses? Can I give you tummy kisses? Can you see this? <gasps> 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 Thanks for watching our video.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest uploads. Remember, we publish a new video every Tuesday. Leave us a comment below if there's a video topic you'd like us to cover or if you have any questions. Thanks and see you next time.